Hello everybody, welcome, welcome to another episode here on the new Ariador server, playing some 1.9 Minecraft. If you were watching our last episode, you'll remember we found these two spawners, so we've um, hollowed it all out, just so we can get a good look at it, and um, interestingly, uh, what I did find, if I move over here, if you can see up there, in the, uh, the, the sort of right hand corner, there is another spawner, but sadly, um, it's too far away from this one over here on the left to um, to really activate it. So as you can see, we're not even activating it now where we're stood. So uh, that's a bit of a shame. But when I stand on that middle bit over there, it does activate. However, we do have another one. Yes, it's a triple spawner, not a double spawner as I thought it was last time. So that is absolutely awesome because we can make a really good uh, farm from this. As you can see, that one's spinning up, that one's spinning up, and that one's spinning up. So, um, yeah, we're, we've got a little bit of room. You see that one stopped spinning there, um, that one stopped spinning here. So we've got a very sort of finite um, two or three blocks um, where we're spinning up, so it doesn't spin that one up there. So I think we've got, yeah, one or two blocks at most uh, where we're acting activating both of these spawners but that's really cool so um, definitely from here anyway um, and that one as well but that means we can make uh, a really good XP farm but that's for another day because uh, a few of the guys a few of the members have said they want to get involved in that and you guys have made comments saying it'd be really good to have a sort of a collaboration of uh, building this farm so uh, we're going to save that for another day but I do have some plans for today so let me just uh, show you something So if we look at these, I've been trying to decide what material I'm going to use for today's build because um, I think this would be the ideal material, which is basically a block of coal. Um, it's the right colour, kind of right texture, I like it. Unfortunately it's a block of coal and for today's um, build I need 964 blocks. So multiply that by nine coal it takes to make these things. Yeah, we don't have fortune. Uh, that's a lot of ore and I think it would be a lot of waste of ore without fortune and that sort of thing. I did look, um, I've got some uh, charcoal there, but unfortunately charcoal doesn't make into a block. So otherwise we could have made a charcoal farm and got it that way, but it's sadly that's not doable either. So despite I think it being the best material I'd like to use in early game, I just don't think we're going to be able to do it. So I've just been having a look at other materials. So this is the black stained clay. Um, and again, unfortunately, it's brown. It's not black. It's, it's not quite right. I think from a distance... You do kind of go, yeah, okay, that's dark, it's black, but it, it, it's not, it's brown, so that's no good. So I, I've got a feeling we're probably going to have to go with this. Um, it's wool, um, so uh, yeah, probably not the best building material to be having, but I think colour-wise it's going to suit what I want to do, um, and hopefully that's going to look awesome. So that's what we're going to go with. So I've got a very, very small sheep farm down here where I've been getting myself a little bit of black wool. Um, I'm going to have to expand this. Uh, I think I have to get some more sheep going. So I think before we can get started on uh, collecting all this wool, because, you know, that's not very much 900 of those, which um, is a lot of stacks. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we're going to have to do a fair bit of farming. So I need to get a few more sheep up, even if we just breed them for now and then kill a load off to stop any lag and problems here in spawn and move out my way or oh, might as well get that. Um, so this is something else I've been wanting to do before we get onto our builds. I'm going to kill these sheep if I can't get out of here. Um, Hitboxes. Ah, there we go. I think what we need to do, something else I, I was going to plan on working on, is this side of the build. So uh, we built this house last time, which I think looks really, really good. Nice country cottage, woodland f cottage sort of uh, effect that you would find. So uh, the plan was, we're going to have this path through here, and then what I'd really like to do is to make some sort of gardens down here to grow our vegetables and things like that. And we do need 
I got a shovel on me I haven't so uh, we do need to sort of level it out a little bit um, and make some small wheat fields not not massive it's not gonna be a farm as such but we have got absolutely no wheat we've got one seed um, yeah so I, I need to start making that so I'm going to get um, a little bit we've got lots of iron by the way now so uh, which is really really good and we've got a few diamonds and yeah we're doing okay now so which is quite good uh, and I need to make a shovel do I have any sticks on me no of course not right let me get this together I'm going to um, do some terraforming over that side and then we'll come back and get this farm built We have ourselves some farms now, which is uh, pretty good in the terms of um, I've been uh, obviously using this wheat to uh, breed the sheep and that sort of things. But we got the potatoes, we got the carrots, uh, we got some beetroot, and we got the sugar canes. But yeah, as much as I like the look of this, it's kind of feeling a bit big to me. So um, yeah, I, d I don't feel as if I want to be taking up this much room. Um, and if I want to put anything else up here, like a shop or something else, you know, we've got a bit of space here, but yeah, I'd rather not necessarily use this much space. So I might condense this down a little bit, um, turn this into perhaps a greenhouse with multiple layers so we don't use this area down here. Um, so we might just bring it to this sort of end here and sort of reclaim that back again. Um, but I have got this sort of uh, little water feature coming out of the rock and it kind of makes its way down here. So we'll probably leave that in. Uh, makes its way to the river. So um, that's pretty handy. Uh, I haven't actually been that way to see where the river goes, but uh, we are using the waterways and we'll perhaps show that in a little way. Um, to have some fun on the server, uh, link up some areas and that sort of thing. So I think this river might be an area that we we do down there. So, but I have enough black wool anyway. Uh, these sheep, I'm probably going to move them up here. I've got kind of got some pens underway, so we might have a few sheep and a few cows um, and maybe a few pigs, um, and that'll be our livestock. And yeah, that's probably going to be it for there. But um, anyway, we have enough material, so let's head back over here. Well, we're back over here by the uh, spider spawner and we've got all the resources we need. So I think it's probably time to get building. <laughs>
it's very big and it's very dark um, so I'm not quite sure uh, it's not finished yet because we haven't got anything inside but effectively we've got a spawner but all you can really see is the dark through the dark so it's kind of blending in so it needs a little bit more definition than I think what we've got uh, I'm gonna build a a spider inside it so maybe we've got to be a bit creative with that spider because it's a um, it's going to be one of the poisonous spiders a cave spider rather than a normal one so we might use something like the cyan green clay or something I'm not sure what do you think uh, let me know in the comments um, I won't do anything more to it now um, but I'd love to get your feedback on it. What do you think? Um, I'd like to put a spider inside. Maybe it will look better once we actually get an object in there. But I think we can't really build the spider out of a dark sort of black. I was thinking coal or something like that because it's just not going to be right, I don't think. I think we've got to do something a little bit more imaginative. I said we might use a cyan clay because the uh, the case spiders are kind of um, that color if we go down and have a look we could probably have a look in one of the spawners uh, and you'll see what I mean but it's not going to be necessarily easy uh, and again we could probably just make one out of a stone a stone spider which might be quite cool because if we can get silk touch we can get um, perhaps uh, what am I thinking? Uh, redstone, redstone ore rather than um, redstone blocks, which might be quite good for uh, the eyes because these spiders have a lot of eyes, but they're not necessarily big. So um, that might be a thing if we build it out of stone. Um, let me know what you think, though, guys. I'd like to hear your uh, opinion or ideas on that. So um, yeah, that'd be really cool. But if we look at these guys, you can see them spinning. They are a sort of a cross between a sort of cyan and a black really um, and you can see all their eyes they've got lots and lots of eyes at the front there um, so I don't know what do you think we'll uh, we'll leave that for now um, and head back to uh, spawn but uh, yeah be interesting to uh, come up with something to go inside it this is a river that uh, we were just walking alongside and that goes over to that spawner which is over here somewhere so that river does actually come all the way around and back into spawn town which is pretty cool uh, we probably need to update these maps because there's a few new buildings on here uh, but also Chris has done something interesting over here so that might be something that we want to try and link together perhaps um, something under here we'd have to go under here and that way I don't know or whether we keep it going around that way um, interesting but let's go and have a look what Chris was playing around with so I'm just keeping my head down as we go past these houses if you look at the map you will see there is um, some new buildings there's one on my left and one behind me now but um, yeah go and check out Peddy's channel for that because Rika um, has been building that uh, with Peddy and my world is not loading uh, this seems to be a bug in this snapshot for me um, so let's just go over here if we can and try not to look at things I was just trying to find here we go so um, yeah you can see we got this cactus in the water there I think if we hit it yes we end up on top so um, the boat has uh, gone underneath so let's uh... oh hello <laughs> you want to go for a ride in the boat do you well I'm sorry that boat was for me but um, yeah you can see under here let's just um, get rid of this guy and go away there we go right uh, we better break that um, yeah so you can see down here there's the cactus um, and that goes with some hoppers you can see underneath the water there so it breaks the boat we land on top um, and then they put the boats into this dispenser here as you can see so then we get yeah boats are all in there lined up which is pretty cool and then um, I'm presuming this is what that zombie stood on so if he goes on there we get a boat we can jump in so uh, the idea is we're going to be putting these around the place which is pretty cool um, and then if we go off this way uh, you can see there's another boat dispenser over there um, so yeah we're going to try and make these a little bit of a, a sort of a, a thing to use because I think they're so awesome now in Minecraft uh, we kind of got to use them and we're passing somebody else's place here let me just do a log 
Let's see if that clears it. It does. Okay, yeah, we'll buy um what's the name's place? Uh Yanis or Nils. Um let's have a look. Someone's got some mushroom cows over there. This is such a pain, this relogging, isn't it? And this <laughs> this is Chris's skelly in a boat. Uh uh homeless jokester <laughs> please don't kill um yeah so obviously he can't can't fire his bow bow which is interesting okay fair enough right let's go head over this way and you can see we got a little tunnel and what chris has done is basically opened up the waterways and if you ride into it we can see underground and we shouldn't be seeing underground it's not allowed um yeah so this kind of opens up in the swamp and then this effectively makes a path that goes all the way around over this way um through the swamp uh yeah because we come around the side of this island here and yeah you can't really see it now which is a bit of a pain but um we can make our way all the way around to the islands. In fact, it goes all the way around to the south base where we were. So it does a complete loop um, all the way around. But I've not done the journey yet. Um, it's something I'm going to do uh, another time. And maybe when these chunks are loading a little bit better for me would be helpful too. Just come over to Blaze's little place over here, which he is looking awesome, I must say. Um, I love his wizard's tower. So, um, yeah, well, that's a thing as well. New area door banners. Um, yeah, I need to get one of those and do something with it. But he has built something that I want to come and have a look at. Which, aha, there it is. So, uh, let's go and have a look at this. Because I'm getting a little bit low on food. Um, Oh, chickens. Chickens have got some daylight. That's good. He's he's looking after his chickens. He's not he's not um you know, farming them. How do we get down there? He hasn't hasn't built a very good path from his place, has he? So uh it's a way down here, I believe. There is. So this is his pumpkin pie farm, yes. Yeah, so uh you can come in here and um yeah, I guess uh just take um we'll take that many shall we um he's got some pumpkins so we probably only need a few of those and it's working already you can hear it in the background so let's just grab 16 of those um we've got our own sugar cane so that's fine and the idea is you can do that we can turn that apart from four into sugar add that to the pumpkins and the eggs and we get pumpkin pie. Yum, yum, yum. Such a nutritious source of food, uh, which is pretty good because it fills you up. And actually, the saturation is really good as well. So um, if you want to see how this works, go and check out Blaze's uh, channel. He's put a video and a tutorial up there uh, showing how he built it. Um, quite simple in reality. Uh, and it's nice it's all hidden. You just come along here and uh, grab a few. So I'm just going to grab a couple there. That's enough for me. So, yeah, he's got that banner there. Um, I've got a feeling peddy has got one as well because uh, something we were lacking was the uh, notch apple because we can't craft the notch apple anymore so we needed the notch apple to create the banner uh, and Rika found one she went and found one in one of the um, cave was it in the cave spider dungeons or the not cave spider dungeons in the in the the mine shafts um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. So I wonder if she's got a banner in her chest because what I'd like to do, um, there's one. So I'm just going to borrow that a second and uh, I'm going to get some red wool and, and then we're going to duplicate it because that's all we really need to do is just um, make a red banner. That's the base color of this banner. Uh, put it into our inventory uh, or put it into our crafting and make our own version of it which will be pretty cool because then we're going to do something with that so let's see we've probably got some wool we've probably got some red dye let's have a look um maybe it's some junk no i need to sort out all these chests and what i'm doing with them flowers we've got some but oh actually can we turn beetroot into red dye uh, yes we can one two three four five 
six. That's enough, and then we can convert. I have some. Oh look, I've got some there. Uh, where's the black? Where's the black? Black, 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 black. There you are. Right. So uh, we need a crafting table. So if we put that in there, convert six of them to red. Ah, oh, can't we do that? Once it's gone, it's gone. Uh, so uh, we didn't have enough white in there, did we? Um, two, three. Now we're going to be one short. Of course we are. Right. I need to go and shear a sheep, or we're going to convert some sheep to red. And then, yeah, definitely haven't got any. Darn. And then we'll do this. Right, well, we might as well make a couple of them, actually. Um, let's do that. So, I believe, if we put those there, it makes a new one. Yeah, and keeps the original one as well. So, there we go. So, uh, what I want to do with this, um, let's have a look. Uh, durability is down on it, but that's okay. That's, um, tell you what. No, let's make a complete new one. So it's a Y shape like that. And one piece of iron. Gives us a new shield. Add it to a banner. Does that look different? Uh, let's have a look at this. Probably. Probably messes up. Yeah. It's not quite the same, but I think that's better than not having anything on it at all. Definitely. So, um, yeah, it's it's not quite uh, not quite the shape we want. Um, yeah, the E's gone a little bit strange on there. I think it's the way that it goes on the shields, but um, yeah, I think it's nice to have that rather than a normal design. So, uh, I think what I'll do is drop this uh, banner back off to uh, Rika. So thank you, Rika, for lending me that banner, even though you didn't know I did it and all the rest of it. And then um, let me just stick that up there. There we go. We'll have to come up with our own banner. Perhaps you guys, um, maybe you can design one for me. Um, that will be really cool. Uh, I don't know whether we can put a W on it or a T for Trekker with some kind of design. Um, that will be really nice. So, uh, yeah, maybe if you've got some suggestions for that. Look, so Rika's got that one with a flower there, light blue. So maybe we can come up with our own banner that we can put on there and put put on our shield. So, uh, yeah, if you've got any ideas, um, perhaps go to Twitter and tweet it to me. Uh, leave me a comment and uh, or send me a link to where I can go and uh, see an image of it. Or, um, yeah, we'll, we'll have a look and see if we can uh, see if we can come up with our own banner. That would be pretty cool. Now, one thing I do want to find um, is over this direction here somewhere. Um, and I think that's it there. So, yeah, underneath uh, Peddy's place, which he built in his uh, live stream the other day, um, and under here, I think, is it, is it Skid's place over there? Uh, but they found this, which you can see it, but behind there is a skelly spawner. So they've already built... Um, a nice little farm. You can just see the skellies at the bottom, probably. Um, so, we've got these, which... Um, please sort items before you leave. That's fair enough. Arrows go there. Um, things obviously drop into there. The skellies come all the way up and then obviously drop down. And I think it's designed that the, they're carried far enough away that this is going to keep on spawning, even though they're stored up here. And... They sound as if they're dying up there. Um, but what we've got above here is a piston. Um, yeah, definitely dying as they're coming there, isn't it? Perhaps we need to close this. That's what it is. Um, so, that did the wrong way, so let's do it again. So I think that locks all the doors, and then the piston goes across there. And then that should actually cause the skeletons to sort of be stored above this lava. And then when we press this switch... The lava is going to be retracted into this dispenser. The piston is also going to retract at the same time. And then the skeletons are going to land here. Which, if we do, we'll kind of show you. There's only one guy, but that's absolutely fine. 
Um, but as you can see, the lava's gone back across again. And what happens is, we hit this guy, he jumps up into the lava, and because we punched him into the lava, we get his XP, which is pretty good really so all the items are going to drop into there we're going to get the XP and then we've got an enchanting table down here which is pretty ingenious I think I've not seen how he's done this I need to go and have a look but as you can see it's given us level 30 enchants but I can't see any bookshelves down there but there's got to be right I don't know um, I'm gonna have to check out their build because I didn't see the full live stream when they were building this but um, yeah, I'm going to have to investigate a little bit more and just see how uh, how we've built that. But it's quite handy because we've only got a few diamonds. We've used them on here. But we might as well enchant ourselves our uh, armour and, um, yeah, perhaps make ourselves a, a good pick, hopefully. Maybe we'll, we'll get something decent. I don't know. So I thought, uh, yeah, before we finish up today, maybe we'll do a little bit of enchanting. It's our first enchanting actually on the server. So, should we make one for now? Yeah, we'll make one for now. And then uh, let me get enough levels and we'll see what we can get. Okay, I think we've got enough... Uh, stuff there do some enchanting that's all going in there that's good uh, I've done a little bit of enchanting in between so uh, I already did one pick and it only showed I'm breaking but we've got fortune 3 I did it on my old pick because I thought well, if it's unbreaking and it just make it last a bit longer so uh, that's pretty cool uh, we got a pretty awesome bow as well Trekker's bow of sudden death it's got punch 2 power 5 flame unbreaking 3 and infinity if I could get a, a mending book for that, it would be, you know, perfect bow, really, wouldn't it? So, uh, yeah. Uh, so let's enchant this. We've got efficiency four. Uh, maybe we'll get something else with it. Do you think? Let's have a look. I'm breaking efficiency four. So, yeah, it's okay. I guess at some point we could combine it with that, and that would give us uh, a really nice pick. But I guess. In reality, we'll probably just use this as a, a general work pick, and then uh, we'll just fortune all the stuff that we get. We haven't got a silk touch or anything like that. Uh, we still have 30 levels, though. Oh, we did get this as well. We do have silk touch. I lied. Um, yeah, I got a book, and uh, for two uh, two of these 16 levels, uh, there was a silk touch book, so I took it. Uh, let's just have a look. So this is something that's always worth doing if you don't want the enchantments that you get on your uh, on your stuff um, yeah put a book in rather than a bow um, because okay they're not as cheap as bows to make but you know you sometimes see uh, particularly on the lower ones you sometimes see a, a pretty good uh, pretty good deal but those are all coming up pretty rubbish fire protection three so we might put one level on those I don't know um, what would go on an axe fortune three I'm not really worried about fortune on an axe um, and there wasn't really anything in there, was there? Efficiency 3. Yeah, not very good at all. So um, maybe we'll leave the rest of those things. Um, although, if we have a bow, can we get... No, because we can't enchant mending on things, something, can we? Mending's always got to be on something. We can't put it... You know, we can't get it on there and get it as an enchantment, so um, that's no good either. So, uh, yeah. All right, well, I think, you know, um, what I'm probably going to do is just put some low-level enchants on my armor. Because um, that's got to be better than uh, nothing after all. Projectile protection, fire protection, protection three. That'll do. Because it's only iron. We'll, uh, we'll get some decent stuff on our... Um, uh, what else did it come with? Respiration three. So, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, happy with that. Uh, thorns, unbreaking protection. Let's see what we can get on these now. Unbreaking three. Mm, nothing much. We might just have to go for protection one on them. Blast protection. Do we want to go for blast protection? Um, we can't get it anyway. So uh, what do we have on those? Thorns, unbreaking prop one. Unbreaking protection two. Let's go for prop two, shall we? That'll do. We don't want to be too overpowered in the early uh, early days, do we? So, um, 
No, fire protection, no. And, oh, prop three again, but again, you see, we're not really sort of... Uh, pretty rubbish enchants, really, aren't they? So, uh, those things, what do we got there? Da, da, da. Anything decent on that efficiency. But again, it's uh, the high level, so... Yeah, probably not worth doing, so... All right, well, uh, oh, books, that's the other thing, wasn't it? I say to you, try a book. Sharpness, Bane of Alpha, Projectile Protection. There. All pretty rubbish. I mean, we are using that. I mean, if we got looting on that, that would be quite good. But um, Sharpness... I really probably want Sharpness books and anything, wouldn't I? Sharpness 3. So I might do that. I might get Sharpness 3 and put it onto an axe. Um, but I'm going to have to get a few more levels, so we'll probably end it there. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more enchanting here. It's a little bit grindy. Got to wait for these mobs to uh, to work. But this mob grinder is working uh, pretty well, as you can see. It takes a little bit of time, so I'm just sat here watching some YouTube. Um, but hopefully you've enjoyed it. So uh, let me know if you have. Leave me a comment down below. Um, let me know your ideas for the, uh, the spider farm. And if you've got a banner for me to go on my shield or to create a banner, let me know. Um, yeah, that would be pretty awesome. Even go and uh, claim a plot on the new Eriador server and, uh, you know, put one up on there or something. And, uh, yeah, let, let me know in the description that you've done it or something like that. And don't forget to enter that build contest. It's still ongoing at the moment. Um, go and check uh, on new Eriador. Check my previous video in my chit-chat if you haven't already watched it where we announced it. Uh, and hopefully we'll see you guys uh, on the server helping us build the town hall. That would be pretty awesome. So, uh We'll see you soon, I guess. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.